Hi. So today I just I just wanted to give a quick tutorial of uh, this new tool in the beta in the beta of Live 2D uh, Cubism 4.1. It's beta one, uh, which you can find right here. It's called the Stroke Mesh Mapping. It's a beta tool, so it's only available in the beta right now. But I th I think it's a really a really cool tool. So basically, what it does is I'm just going to remove this art mesh right here, and then I'll show show you guys what it does. So what you do is you just drag this line. You just make a line straight down the middle of the of your mesh, and it auto it does this automatically. And basically, what you can do then is you can edit this like it was as if it was an art path deformer, which I think is really neat and really cool. And you can then afterwards also edit here. So say I want it a bit, a bit wider here on there, or maybe you want more, more vertices in between. You can adjust this repeated den density where lower will make it a lot more, uh, you know, <laughs> It'll change the stuff. Usually 10 is about fine. Uh, 15 is also pretty good. But yeah, and then you can change here a number of vertices in between uh, in the width. So say you just want a line. There's your line. Two is basically just a triangulation like that. And then three is with a center line as well. So you have the reflected triangles. Basically... After the, after you've done that, you can then go go back out and say, with this taper on the eyebrow, I want this to go down more. I want this to go in. So you can then just afterwards just edit this normally. Now, a place where I've found this very useful is when it comes to mouth forms. So on one of my other models that I'm currently working on, I found this very useful for doing the lips. So... With the lips, for example, I would have had, I did this part, if we go in real quick. This part, I used the tool. And then after that, I just added these three points to connect these and so that it connects to the lip skin. What then happens is you have a nice, nice straight line right there. And you can just put a art path deformer that you can find right there. You can just take that and then you can work with this great form and you can make mouth forms like this fluidly and you don't have to worry too much about the um you know the the art mesh deforming and actually i think you can also then go uh i don't think i can edit this right now uh since i've already finished that uh i've already finished that part but say let's take let's take this part right so top lip uh, is just this. I have not started uh, properly rigging my model just yet, but yeah. So if I just take this line straight through right there, uh, I want it a bit thinner. So mesh width, I can adjust it. Let's make it. Let's make it ten. Yeah, yeah, ten seems fine. And you can increase the vertices, uh, the repeated dent density. So let's say let's say seven. Seven looks fine. Um, it's, it's just a straight line, so that's a decently straight line. After that, you can then just go, you can add your art path deformers. I usually use five dots of the art path, art path deformer, uh, for my mouth forms. And then after you've done that, boom, you can now, you can now solidly deform your mouth into your different mouth forms with a really easy and quick way with the art pot, with the, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> this thing, the stroke mesh mapping. So yeah, I just wanted to make a quick, uh, a quick tutorial on how you can use the stroke mesh mapping in different ways. I've used it here on the eyebrow, as you can see right there, it's nice and smooth. I've tapered it off there at the end. Uh, you can use it here on the eyelash as well. Once again, I tapered it off at the end. So that, that's after you've finished doing the, the mesh. Then you can just go out of it there. You say, yes, stroke, stroke, finishing, stroke editing is finished. 
and you can just taper it off like that. And yeah, I've also used it here on the lower lid, so that will just make things nice and smooth, so that when I do add these art path deformers, so that they are nice and smooth, and there is a solid art mesh to work with. Yeah, that's about it. That's all I wanted to show you guys today. And I hope you found this useful. If you did, uh, please do consider dropping a like, share it with your friends, and yeah, if you're if it helped you, let me know down in the comments how how you you plan on using it. If you don't plan on using it in that traditional way, or in this specific way, if you've got other ways of uh, planning to use it, then please do let me know. Until next time, I've been Zara, and this is just that was just a quick quick little live to d tutorial. Cheers.